Is there something that SFU is lacking that you wish it had? A little bit more social life. I'm on campus this semester, like living here, and it sucks so far. Nobody t has wants to talk to anybody. I think a lot more people are, are shyer here. Mm. I'm so thirsty right now. I'll find a fountain. Hello there, it is I. As you can see, we're at SFU campus today. A campus known for being quite isolated and with a lot of people who seem to be quite lonely. So today we're asking people, how do you meet people? How do you make friends? How do you connect with others? This is Vancouver Talks. So it does seem like a lot of people feel isolated here, feel pretty lonely. Oh. I've seen some people that look like they're depressed and stuff. Yeah. Do you have any advice on how they could overcome that, like make friends, meet people? Well, I think the whole fireplace idea was a really good idea because people could sit down and talk to other people. And at the end of the day, you have to get out of your shell to talk to people in classes or just sit beside someone and like open a conversation. For me, it was easier because the first friend I made was in my math class and she just introduced herself and she was in dorms. So I like became friends with people on residence. But um, just just go out of your way to talk to people and be nice to people. And yeah, you'll find friends, you know, we're all old. There's no bullying going on here. No one judges, you know. I think the best thing for us has been that we have each other. We're living yeah. together. Uh, we're going through the same program so we can rely on each other and that's really been a big thing. We've also been, uh, we find that uh, exercising helps a lot too, mm -hmm. like staying active fights the depression a little bit. <laughs> um, so that, that, yeah. that works for you? Yeah, that works, that works for me particularly. Yeah, just taking the time for mental breaks, trying to get out and socialize with our friends, just not staying in our room all day and studying for 12 hours a day has been yeah. a great help. Like you just got to know when to take a break. It seems a lot of people feel like alone, isolated here even depressed. Do you have any like, advice on what you could do to overcome that? For me, my first year, I was very lonely actually, and I can really relate to that. But I think the best way to combat that, I started feeling less lonely when I started volunteering and joining student clubs. And that's how I made most of my friends now. So I think the people who do volunteer are happier with their university experience overall. So I'd recommend it. Okay, yeah. Sounds like it would be helpful. Were you ever like shy or anything? At first, but then I realized that everyone in the club is kind of in the same boat as me. They want to make friends. They're also attending the exact same school. So having common interests really helps. Yeah, I've noticed that like a lot of people here feel like isolated and just like alone, lonely. Do you ever feel that? Yeah, I can, I can, I can understand that because it's really hard to approach people because it seems like everyone has withdrawn from uh, from socializing because of COVID and everything. So it's yeah, like that, everyone's that's just true. everyone's just like unexperienced. Pretty much. Mm. I have a few friends that from high school that I came here with, but if I didn't have them, I feel like it would be a little bit harder to make friends because people are quiet and a lot of people do come with their own group, so it's kind of hard to like get your way into them. Well, like it's just like the first month I'm here, so of course, like people are going to be in their shell when they're, you know, trying to m meet new people. So uh, I wouldn't say that I feel lonely or, or anything around here. No. And do you have any like, advice on how they could overcome all that shyness? I feel like it's just going to take time. Someone just has to do it, right? It's like a fear that you have to just kind of overcome. But like you just have to just, you know, say hello to someone you, you're not, you don't know and just see what happens. Like, what worked for you? Like, how did you become, how did you make friends and all that? For me, I'm also that, that, that closed off person, mm -hmm. right? Just generally been that way. So it's very, it's not difficult for me to make friends, but it's like I don't make that a priority either. Right, if I'm in a class and I like to talk to everyone, but outside I'm not, not too keen on making like those kinds of connections necessarily. Like if I see someone, they give. I think it's meeting someone's gaze. Like a lot of people are just shy to look at someone. Yeah, true. Right, so it's very hard yeah. to like approach someone to talk to them if they're, yeah, if they're like, not even looking at you. Especially if you're holding a mic. <laughs> yeah, right. Like if I hadn't looked at you and just walked away and kept my head down, I don't think you'd be able to approach me. It'd yeah. be pretty hard. Yeah. It was hard. So it's, I think that's also another factor. People are afraid to just look at each other. Do you have any advice for people who are like trying to meet people, make friends or something like that, who get out of the shell, be less 
alone, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really don't know because everyone's come back from the online classes. I think so, everyone is just taking their time to get used to the yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing people again. So yeah, yeah, that's true. after that, meet people in classes, the student union building. Anyway, you can really just meet people anywhere. Like there are people playing table tennis here. Mm. Probably met themselves today. Yeah. Like, what has worked for you in like making friends and stuff? Uh, so I play soccer. Okay. So I come here on the weekends, and I just meet random people in the field. Okay. And then we exchange numbers, and then I just make groups and. Just try. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's so hard, but uh, I guess like. If more people reach out, it will make more people comfortable finding friends. So, because um, if you never know, if you say something to someone, they might be going through the same thing, and you could make a friend from that. Uh, I'd say just be open, be open and talk to new people. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> you don't want to just be going out talking to everybody, but uh, don't be af like afraid, because most people don't actually care about like coming up and talking to them, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think there's anybody that does. So, just. Don't be um, worried or self-conscious about how you look to other people. Try and get out, like, we're all in the same boat here. We're all trying to socialize, make friends, even if you're socially shy, like, you just go up to people and start talking and we're all really friendly. Don't be shy, don't be closed down. Try and make as many friends as you can. I come from a really small town in Manitoba where I grew up knowing everybody in my school, uh, stuff like that. So what I've found has been best, if you're feeling anxious or scared about socializing or talking to people, just do it. Just walk up to somebody, say, hi, I'm Eric. Um, and if it doesn't go well, you probably won't see them again. Makes sense. I mean, like, a lot of people are shy anyway, so yeah. they probably understand, like, someone else being shy. Yeah. I feel like you should reach out to people. Try to, talk, try to reach out of your comfort zone and meet new people and talk to people when you have the opportunity to. I feel like that's the best way to build connections, and lots of people are hesitant to do that, I, th I feel. There's a lot of shy people, yeah. people with like social anxiety and all that. Any advice on how to overcome that? I used to be pretty um, shy and socially awkward, and I just kept pushing myself outside of my comfort zone to get over it, really. Mm. Yeah. Do you have any advice? Advice? God, I don't know, go on Tinder. <laughs> like, <laughs> what worked for you? How did, how'd you make friends? <laughs> I, mean, I know, it makes sense. But I don't know if you're going to make friends on Tinder or not, or oh, what kind of friends, friends. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. Find people with the same interests in your classes, or don't. Or if you want to be shy and not talk to people, that's cool too. I don't think you, there's really a push that you have to. But there's opportunities if you look for them. Yeah, it seems like... I've always found it easier to talk to other people who are like shy, I guess, as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't want to be so extroverted, and that's fine. Like, but if you know, if you look, you'll find it. You don't have to. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Share, subscribe. And this is enough uh, social interaction for one day. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go home and stay there for the next couple of days and squirt out. <laughs>